I'm reminded of early friends who loved to go to market squares on busy uh, marketing days and stand on a box or stand on something and preach uh, the gospel as they understood it. And they, they attracted many people to become Quakers through doing that, including people who initially thought they were talking rubbish. <laughs> So it's that going out, it's that not expecting people to come to us, but instead taking that offensive that is a mark of the growth of early Quakerism and will be a mark of the growth of today's Quakerism if we're willing to go out. Well, in Choose Democracy, that is exactly the training that we're offering. We're giving them handles for being able to go out and uh, find the people who will be influential in the case of a contested election, and so that they will put their weight on the side of a free and democratic uh, result. Oh, it's just a small team of people, mostly friends, uh, you know, over the years, who said, uh oh, um, there's this possible constitutional crisis down coming down the pike. It might be as big as the Civil War. And uh, we're, we're just uh, concerned that nobody's really providing essential services for getting ready. So we thought, well, what's missing that will be needed in such an effort when other people join us in understanding the problem? And so we realized training will be needed. So we started offering training workshops. We realized solid evidence-based information will be needed because how, how, uh, I mean, if we're talking about a possible coup, <laughs> that's not America's experience. So we can't do, oh, I remember we dealt with that 20 years ago. No, nobody here remembers that. So we need evidence-based information on how to defeat a coup. So we'll have a website, we'll have that, and we'll develop a pledge of resistance that, that was very effective in pushing Ronald Reagan away from his threat to invade Nicaragua in the 1980s. He was about to set up a second Vietnam in that situation, and we were able to dissuade him from that. And one reason was we had a thing called the Pledge of Resistance, which said, if you do that, then we will go all out to, uh, to dislocate the country, to make it impossible. And so we, uh, we established a, a pledge, uh, which is uh, a, a, something on our website that thousands and thousands of people are signing as we speak. Well, for one thing, we're teaching uh, that there are these what we call pillars that hold up any structure, any governmental structure. And if uh, our president actually wants to set up an illegal structure that he's leading, then it will depend for success on pillars holding it up. Pillars like politicians will need to agree to go along with that. And the police will need to, and the military will need to, and the economic structure will need to. There are these various pillars that can be distinguished that he will be dependent on. So going uh, to any of those pillars and saying, by the way, if this happens, we're going to push you very hard not to support the outcome. So I'm pretty excited about targeting these pillars, and that's one of the things we teach people to do in our trainings. We're far more likely to be successful if we're prepared. And it, it's very likely if we just waited to see that the, the actions that would be taken would be very frequently marred by violence. Because this is a violence-prone culture. Television is full of it. Movies are full of it. Uh, and violence is how we're programmed to be from when we're quite small. And so... Uh, people's reaction to an attack, in, even an attack from the Oval Office, will be very often violent unless they know something better. Happily, Quakers and others know something better. <laughs> so preparing is more likely to get people uh, remembering in a moment of crisis, oh, that's right, there is something better, let's do that. Thanks for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every Thursday. 
we would like to thank Woodbrook for supporting this video. Woodbrook is a Quaker learning and research charity. They offer online learning and worship rooted in the Quaker tradition and open to all. On their website, you can find online courses for individuals on a range of topics as well as workshops for communities. Woodbrook is also the leading provider of Quaker postgraduate study with distant degrees open to applicants from around the world. Visit www.woodbrook.org.uk to explore what Woodbrook can do for you. Thanks again for watching and have a happy Thursday.